Welcome back to Black Powder Therapy. Thank you for joining us. Today I'm going to segue away from items themselves, like we've done in the last few videos, and go into more of a topic of um, transportation. How we go about moving day to day with our firearms. Every state's unique, so bear in mind with what I'm going to say, look at your local state's laws and make sure you're following them because I'm going to go through my experiences and how I've had to do it and how I currently do it. Not necessarily what all 50 states do. For the sake of argument, we're going to go from the very beginning when you buy a firearm all the way through your day-to-day -day carry. So the primary method of carrying until you buy stuff for yourself is the hard case. If you buy a brand new firearm, it comes with an OEM, original equipment manufacturer, hard case. Most of them will even come with a lock in them. My locks are not in my cases because they're in a drawer. But your pistol profile, your magazines, your grips, they're all inside the case. This case is legal for transporting between states. Um, TSA, it's got a little lock hole in it, so you can put a padlock on it. Smith & Wesson, Glock, Sig Sauer, they're all very, very, very similar in how they make their hard cases. A lot of places require you to case your firearm when it leaves your house. Happen to live in Arizona, that's not the rule out here. But like I said, some do. Pay attention to your local rules, follow them. Rifles, hard cases are a big deal. Some people will use the soft case. Zips on, drops it in. I taught my kids early. My son uses a hard case for his. His 22 Marlin fits right inside of it. He can put his ammo in there, his magazines fits nicely. Make sure you have enough clips on it where you can safely transport it. This is a Pro Max. Rifle fits right inside. It's got plenty of room for extra equipment. An example of the transportation lock, his is actually in his case. One thing that is not in here anymore because we are not in an education setting like 4-H, he no longer has a clear barrel indicator CBI inside of his case. You are teaching your children how to transport firearms. Clear barrel indicator, CBI is very important. Make sure it's long enough to go from the bolt all the way out the barrel. We just use weed eater line. Bright orange, bright green. The whole idea is that when you open the case up, you see that bright color, you know that the barrel's clear, there's no ammo in there, it's not chambered. Got friends out here in Arizona that could learn a trick or two from kids. Next thing we'll talk about is range bags, go bags. The term you use is up to you. Mine happens to be a 511 Tactical. I fell in love with this bag whenever I told them that I needed something to carry all of my gear in one place to the range. Whether it be ammo and pistols or just cleaning gear. Everything fits in here. It's got little slots in it for up to four, four pistols. And while you're looking in there, we'll notice there's these pistols are already holstered because that's how I keep mine. Holster is the other way that you transport a pistol properly. This is an outside the waistband holster. It has a paddle clip on it. That paddle goes either inside your jeans or between your belt and your jeans. It's there to secure your pistol so that you have to pull on the grip to take it out. That's a hard plastic holster. There's old fashioned folks, I happen to be one, that like the leather holster. Same idea. This straps into your, your belt, doesn't get to go anywhere. Pistol safe, it has an extra magazine. And for those of you who carry a compact or a subcompact, we have the inside the waistband. This one happens to be neoprene, sweat resistant. Just fits right into your waistband, locks over your belt. Nothing special about them. Now, one thing I will say is, you notice mine are in the, the holster. Mine also have the magazine already preloaded. That's not legal everywhere. It is legal here. I love that feature. It's a matter of timing. You want to be able to get at it and go. It is not chambered. There's no, pistol, no bullet in my chamber. That is a safety issue whenever I'm storing a pistol in my home. If it is in my car, in my office, anywhere that other than where someone else can reach it, it's chambered. 
The moment I take it out of that and I put it in an open space, it is not a chambered pistol. I will take the extra two seconds to rack my pistol and have it prepared for defense. Now, this is the other way you would properly store. There's no magazine in this. This is my Sig Sauer 9mm. No magazine, clearly not chambered. This is how most people will store their pistols for transportation because this is the most common and practical way to do so everywhere. Some places require you to separate the ammunition from the firearm in order to transport it. And as soon as it goes in your car, the ammunition and the firearm have to be separated within the car. It came from Wisconsin. Wisconsin didn't have that rule necessarily for pistols. I didn't look into it personally. For rifles, your rifle had to be in the trunk. Your am ammunition had to be separated from that. It's primarily because of hunting. But that primary reason doesn't make the cops think anything different. So... Again, when it comes to transporting, the laws from every state are unique. The way you do it personally is about how it, you're comfortable doing it or how you're comfortable handling it and what makes sense for you. This is what makes sense for me. I'm a, I've become a fan of my range bag. Everything goes in my range bag, except for when I'm at home and my, my carry is typically in my desk drawer. That's the only difference. So again, make sure that you're carrying it and transporting it in a proper and legal way. As long as you're proper and legal, then you can become comfortable and you can use the right kind of gear for you. Hard cases, soft cases, range bags, or on your person in a holster as you're walking down the road, depending on your state. Thank you for watching Black Powder Therapy. Go enjoy your firearms.